this fireplace is getting a new facade and the stone that was picked out actually comes in a 6 by 12 sheet. So what they're going to do is start at the bottom and go all the way up to the top, but on the edges they're going to take this tile, cut it, and then go on a 45 degree angle so there's a nice clean finished line. And these things are actually pretty easy to install. They put quick set on the back and then they, they install them. But the trick is, is sometimes you don't want to do all of this at once. You want to do a couple of layers because it's so heavy and let it dry and then start the next day so everything doesn't come sliding down the wall. But this is going to be a really cool finished product whenever it gets completed. There are new hardwood floors being installed in this property and sometimes this can be forgotten by installers and homeowners and homeowners don't always know because they don't do this every day. But the doors are actually not going to work after the hardwoods are installed because the hardwoods are pretty thick. So what they do is they take the doors off and then they have to cut them and then reinstall the doors. So what we see here is one of the doors that was taken down. They're getting ready to cut it and then they're going to put it back on after the wood floors have been installed. You won't be able to tell that this door was actually cut because obviously they cut it from the bottom and it's no big deal. But a couple of things to think about when doing a home remodel. So here we are in the laundry room and what the designer has decided to do in here is carry the wood floors into the laundry. That to me can be a little scary because of the water and this is such a wet area, but the decision was made to put a sensor behind the washing machine so if any water did leak, the sensor would go off, turn the water off, and then that way the hardwood floors would be protected. But it's not very often that there's something that does happen, but the people that have had a problem with water do understand that it can be pretty scary and then the hardwood floors have to be redone. I've personally had that happen myself, but it was on tile and it did seep out into a hallway, so I had to have that refinished. We'll see the look of this when it gets finished. I think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous, but we're just going to have to be a little careful with the water. So when you have very tall ceilings in a home like this, 20 foot ceilings definitely need scaffolding if you're going to be painting. The great thing about the scaffolding is somebody can come in here and clean the chandelier at the same time, but in order to get the trim and the ceiling painted correctly, unfortunately, scaffolding does have to be brought in, but it's going to look amazing when it's finished. So I know that we have previously talked about having a cabinet reworked for a new flat screen and that's exactly what's taking place right here. So this middle piece had a huge compartment for an old television with one of those big backs. So this cabinet maker has redone this middle section and they're putting a large piece of wood here. This has a brace and support in the back and then they pulled the electrical and the cable through here. So now a big television can get mounted. It's gonna be braced in the middle so whenever it gets hung, it's very stable and secure and then you don't see any cords. Obviously, this is still under work, but this was a simple project. This cost about $1,000 to have this redone and all of these cabinets are gonna get painted, which is kind of a newer look. But this makes a huge difference to make your home feel more updated and modern. So here in this home, what they've decided to do is completely change this floor. So they've cleaned the slab this morning to make sure it's even to get all the glue and the quick set from the floor and what was here previously. Then they've put plastic and now they're covering it with plywood. This entire floor is going to have plastic and plywood. They've removed the baseboards and then after they're going to install the red oak or white oak, whatever they've decided to do here in this home and then finish it on site, hand scrape it and stain it. And then after that is finished, they're going to put the baseboards back up. This particular homeowner did not want what's called a quarter round or shoe molding. And it is what goes in between the baseboard and the new floor. So they're gonna try to get some very good lines cut as close as they can to the baseboard, but we'll see what it looks like when it's finished. And then they may have to make that decision at the end of the day, whether it's going to get that quarter round. But this is going to look absolutely stunning. Wood floors are very popular and they're a gorgeous, expensive look in a home. If you'd like some more tips on how to make your home feel more fresh and modern, click on the information below. We would love to help you with some ideas that would give you a great return on investment if you are thinking about buying or selling soon.